Gale in Context Biography offers credible research information from specialized encyclopedias, magazine and journal articles, newspapers, photos, videos, audio files, and approved websites. From the Perry Township Resource Portal, go to Quick Links on the lower right-hand side of the screen and find iLibrary and Inspire. Click that. From the iLibrary and Inspire database page, you can look under Databases by Topic and go to Biography, or you can go Databases A to Z, either way. I'm going to go down to Biography, and there are several different links to different libraries of information about biographies, information about people and their lives. I'm going to choose Gale in Context Biography. Now the first time you log in from home, you will need to use the password INSPIRE123. INSPIRE123, no capital letters, no spaces. If I don't know who I'm going to do my research on, I can look at Browse People. And many different people from history and popular culture will be listed. I could click on any of the names here and I would be taken to articles about that person. Now let's say I don't like that person, I want to do a different one, I can go back to, I can follow the breadcrumbs and go back to the Browse People page. If I know the person I want to search, I can use the search box. Let's say I want to look up Elvis Presley, the singer from the past. What type of sources do I get back? Well, I get biog biographies, I get audio files, approved websites, reference, which is like encyclopedias, magazine articles, images, newspaper articles, videos, and academic journals, which are also like magazine articles, except they are more scholarly in nature. So if I scroll down, I can see all of those articles are listed below. So usually when I start research, I don't know too much about the topic. I'm going to start with biographies, or I'm going to start with reference. In this case, I'm going to use biographies. Now there are three listed here, or shown, but there are actually 11. If I click on biographies, it will give me all of the biographies. Another nice feature of Gale in context biography is that it does list a Lexile score. So some of them are higher than others and I can scroll, the, scroll down to find one that might be appropriate. So here is my article. At the bottom of the page you will see the source citation and it is in MLA 8th edition format. I can change it to APA if that is what is required, but most teachers are going to require MLA 8th edition. Another great feature of this online database is that I can save it on my, in my Google Drive. I can do that by clicking on the Google Drive icon. Now I can go find it in my Google Drive. It should be the most recent thing downloaded, and here it is. Now, as you do other classwork, it will no longer be the most recent file. So, if you still need to find it, and it's no longer the first thing listed, you need to find a folder called Gale in Context Biography. So it makes, the resource makes a folder, a little orange folder in your Google Drive. And all of the articles that you save from that resource will be in that drive. And here are my, I've downloaded Elvis Presley a couple of times. To go back to the other resources, I can follow my breadcrumbs back 
Now I'm into back to the biographies, all of the bio 11 biographies that were listed, or I can follow it further back to other types of resources. Okay. I can jump into the different types of resources by selecting here the different types of resources, and that will also take me to, in this case, the images. So good luck in searching. If you need more help with this resource or any other library resources, please contact your Perry Township librarians.